I think, and maybe her great grandfather. So she's been a victim of a line of ignorance that no one helped them, no one told them how to turn this around, and they've had suffering down through, and now she's suffering. And I told her she's a young, beautiful woman. I said, before you have children, do fix this problem. Don't pass this anymore. Because this is getting out. She has some work ahead of herself because she had genetically weak kidneys on top of just having cysts. It's, it's one thing to have a tumor. It's another thing to have deterioration or the breakdown or the weakness of cells. Uh, you got two problems going on. You got to fix them. So same thing with you, sweetheart, is this uh, poly uh, uh, ovarian syndrome, polycystic. Uh, again, cysts move that lymph, that's kidney and adrenal problems, going back to that again, uh, move that lymph, uh, get good the kidney formulas, honey, get the get the, uh, 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 the kidneys and the adrenal glands, depression, this could be slipping from the parathyroid weakness now, a whole different thing to just having cysts on the ovaries, could affect your estrogens, yes, but that estrogen is more ovarian, systemic estrogen is really more adrenal, fat cell, and liver. So your ovarian estrogen to me is uterine estrogen and progesterone, uh, exclusive club there. Uh, so again, of course, you could be working over again with the adrenals, but depression is really more a calcium utilization problem. But uh, you're extremely overweight. So sweetheart, uh, you don't look extremely in the picture here, but I, I tell you that your adrenal glands, and maybe with a little thyroid too, so if you're cold and everything, that's thyroid, perk your thyroid up. This is a case where glandular, chronic cases where glandulars come in here. These animals were raised for this. These animals knew they were raised for this. I'm going to tell you, there's a lot more knowingness if you get away from this human consciousness than you realize. Plants know, animals know. You, you, you know, we're, we humans have lost the knowingness and intuitiveness of ourselves as, as spiritual beings. And so, uh, so we, we get caught in these emotional issues. And yes, there are some that's ridiculous. The suffering and the ridiculous thing man does. Humans are disgusting to me at some point at, at the things they're willing to do to other creatures. Look at China and I look at these travel channels and all these, they, they put snakes on the grill and cook them while they're alive. Oh my God. In the name of what? Yeah, I don't know. You know, ridiculous. But, that's the planet you're on. And if, if we judge too much, then we, we have to talk to the Supreme Being about it. What were you thinking? <laughs> but remember, to have a world at this level, you have to have the extreme poles of positive and negative. You can't uh, have just a lot of positive and no negative. At this level, it's impossible. It's just not going to happen. That, that, that's not the rules of the game here on this planet. Uh, you, this one comment was about pH strips that are 7.4, both urine and, uh, and saliva. Uh, really, uh, you don't want alkaline urine. That's showing you're losing your electrolytes. Your urine is supposed to be filtering. That's for when you pee in a jar. You want to see snow in there, a snow blizzard. You want to see sediment or what I saw in a lab the other day, mucus strands. Absolutely, you want to see that. i never seen a lab comment on mucus strands in urinalysis, but this lab did. I'm glad they're looking. Uh, yeah, you want this uh, in there. When you see this in there, then wow, you're moving your lymph. And then you start to see your tumors, your lymph nodes go down, everybody's going down, everybody's going back to normal, and, and then you'll do well with that. So, real important. So, keep moving on that lymph, because there is a point when you go on raw that your urine, especially if you're not filtering, your urine will become alkaline. If you're filtering, your urine won't be alkaline because you're not going to be losing your electrolytes in that manner you're going to see acid urine in the low sixes, preferably. Some people, what was their alkalizer diet? This guy felt 5.5. Well, that's a common urinalysis, and at that they lose their kidneys. So I think 5.5 is even too acidic myself. Yeah, this was nice to comment. Uh, is this Steve? Are you Mr. Crap? Is that uh, Steve or no crap? If that's you, let me know about that. Beautiful stuff there you wrote, man. This is quite an evolved here. Uh, let me. Uh, this is about uh, which berries are more alkaline and faster in cellular regeneration. You know, uh, I would prefer these type of questions to uh, leave it to yourself because this is this is like which is which which is better. Uh, uh, 
an apple or an orange. I love them both. You know what I mean? Got all nature's full. All these things. All these berries. You got blackberry, wild blueberry, cranberry. I don't like cranberry. Elderberry. Oh, I like that. Uh, grapes. Muscadine grapes. Yes. Black raspberry. Yes. Black uh, 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 chokeberry. Never heard of that one. Uh, the wolfberry. Absolutely. Uh, sea buckthorn. Never, never experienced that. Uh, the the uh, sea. Uh, there, there's. A, uh, I love all the fruits. Most of them. Fruits, berries, and melons. The only one I do have a problem with, of course, is going to be the cranberry. I, I, for some reason, I'd, I've always had bad vibes against that one, uh, but, but you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, but all your other berries are just so good. Not to knock the cranberry people, uh, but that just for me, that one just didn't, wasn't, wasn't what I... I I, uh, I like to get into the grapes and things like this for the kidneys and stuff like that. Cantaloupe watermelon. I think cantaloupe watermelon is powerful, but the yellow is a powerful color. It's a it is the uh, what they call the uh, causal plane color. That's a past, present, and future. That's that uh, the watermelon red aggressive. Of course, that really gets things moving. But uh, these little fine points like that. That's too into, too much intellectualism, and that's going to cause you too much energy loss. You know, when you start thinking too much and worrying which is better than another, you're actually wasting your energy. Because who cares? Tap into your intuitiveness of what your body wants. And then if you say, oh, I think a cantaloupe today, then that's what you have. You, if, you, if you say, well, well intellectually, uh, that, 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 that might not be as good as... No, 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 no. Now you're, you're bringing yourself down. You're, you're losing energy. You're not going to get healthy because you're worried about which food is better in the raw foods. And so... That, that means you must quiet your mind down, my friend. Quiet your mind. Set that mind over in the corner. You're too intellectual. Come back into the now again. Relax. Keep it simple. Relax. And uh, eat intuitively. You, you want this? That's what your body's telling you. Then uh, you do that. Okay? Um, let's see. Uh, you're talking about the joints. And I, I, I mentioned this yesterday. Gonathrosis. Uh, again, everything is regenerable. Everything. You just have to learn what breaks it down. Well, what side of chemistry breaks it down? Acids, of course. And so uh, that's important to uh, know about that. And again, of course, that's kidneys and adrenals. That's your lymph system. You're going back to that. And then when you see your knees and your hips go, <laughs> your kidneys are, 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 they, are the causative factors of it. This is the lymph system. Uh, sometimes you'll see more people with upper torso lymph problems than the lower extremities. I was talking to a lady like that. Yes, they had more upper extremity uh, problems than lower. Uh, I don't know. You know, maybe that the colon is tied into why you see more upper than lower. But eventually you'll see the knees and hips go as well. And this is true with poly ovarian syndromes and polycystic kidneys and blah, 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 blah. You're going to lose all everything else because that this system is 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 body wide. This is systemic wide, and there's nowhere it doesn't touch. And when it's backed up in the main eliminative organs, it starts to become backed up head, literally to toe, and you will start losing all this stuff in you. Um, let me see here. Uh, remove hip. Let's see. Doc, let's see. Some persons are advised by doctors to remove the hip. Hips put on uh, prostheses, artificial hips, because people. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I tell you this. There are times when you you've waited too long, and uh, and the joints are, are are too difficult to repair for you to have a quality of life, and that's when the allopathic community is highly advisable, especially good surgeons. You always want good surgeons. So all you surgeons out there, you know, make your art your, your passion. And uh, uh, I've seen some bad stuff. And I wouldn't compromise my integrity as a surgeon to do a surgery that uh, is just not ethical. You know, uh, tying a stomach around a baby's esophagus so he couldn't throw up is not ethical. That should have been a, a little bit of a jail time because it ended up killing the baby. So th this, is not, uh, this is not good. Uh, but when you're talking about new hips and things, I'm telling you, we have a lot of seniors down here in Florida. They're not going to change their diets totally. Then they're going to have to have these replaced. Even if they did, some of the times, uh, it's a lot of work. When you're talking about a deteriorated hip or knees, that's a lot of work for the body to regenerate. And what do you do in the meantime? Sit around and do nothing? So, yeah, you know, we're in a situation in the human race where we have to be open to each of us. This is why I might be down allopathically, and I am because of the tremendous amount of deaths and, and, and suffering that's going on there. 
take that out of the out of the mix knowledge up and now you've got a good system that can help in so many ways and surgery is a key way trauma key way and I'm telling you our burns allopathically the treatment of burns is barbaric uh, you you don't you, you don't treat burns the way allopathic people treat burns uh, you have aloe tubs, burdock leaves. You can grow new skin when the skin's burned completely off. You don't have to. You don't have to take skin from another part of the body. You don't have to constantly scrape skin. Uh, the, the the things they put humans through with burns is unreal. But these are some of the places that allopathic medicine can learn a great deal about nature paths and about botanical uh, uh, medicine, if you use that word, things like that, of how you regenerate tissue. And that goes for the burns particularly. I feel so sorry for these people because uh, you can pull the pain right out of a person. You don't have to stick them on all these high pain meds, destroy their nervous systems. Uh, I mean, this is all ridiculous. Um, the way that's done. So we need good people, but keep in mind if you need a new hip and you're not willing to be all raw for several years and and you know, I mean there's a lot of work to this. That's all financial. So sometimes I mean that's why humans are where they are. So uh Okay. I want to get rid of this one. I've had this one around for a while. Uh, let me see. Um, yeah, I addressed this with this. Uh, you were uh, craving salt there uh, on a uh, long fast, 70 day fruit fast. <laughs> That's good. Good job, man. I love that. Uh, salt pools, I love them. I have a salt pool. You know, uh, I mean, it's the best you can do. You know, I I'll tell you this. Uh, Colin. Uh, Colin uh, if you, perfection is just an area that if you shoot too high, you know, I think if you walk with balance, it's better off. But for those, uh, balance can be a 70-day fruit fast. <laughs> that can be a good balance. Uh, so, you know, you, you work with what you need in the moment. That, that's the key there. Uh, here, thank you. Detox Magazine. Thank you so much for your comments, all of you guys. Uh, my father, here's another one, uh, sweet thing here. My father is 56 years old. He is growing a huge belly, and the fat accumulates mostly on the belly, around the arms and neck. He eats meat, dairy, grains. And yeah, I don't know if I addressed this with you before, sweetheart, but uh, of course he's going to have aches and pains all over the place. He's getting lymphatically stagnant. He's getting acidic. Uh, he's not going to be happy. Uh, you know, uh, he's lost his joy. Something's taken this your father's joy away from him. Uh, he needs to get his joy back, you know, and that's uh, really important. Sometimes it's hard to get joy back in a relationship that you might not tell people you're not happy in or things that have happened to you, but we all have to get our joy back. So tell your father he needs to get his joy back and start loving himself and taking care of himself here, or he's going to get himself in trouble and lose his prostate here and everything else. Um, so anything that you can do to help him with that way. Uh, real important, some of the guys lose their joy. So some of the ladies, of course, we all lose our joy. A lot of things on this planet that helps you to lose your joy, and some people lose your joy for you. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I don't know what to say about that. It's, uh, it, it, there's a time for each one to wake up and to start loving themselves and then loving others. Hard to love yourself. And uh, the best way to love yourself is uh, forget about yourself and, uh, and uh, become God-absorbed. Uh, becoming God-absorbed is knowing yourself. It is. It's, it's knowing who you really are. That's the key. It's an interesting doorway. But uh, you almost have to forget about yourself to start knowing yourself. But this is from the ego viewpoint. Uh, there's a lot of processes to that. Uh, so your father needs to spend time with himself, enjoying himself. Your dad, if you're listening, go, go, go have some fun somewhere. Take yourself somewhere by yourself and spend some time with yourself without anybody else. And just get to know who you are again. Uh, I've done that many times where I just had to, I had to go into the woods, I had to go somewhere where there was nobody else. And uh, with no TV, no cell phones, club med it, and uh, really uh, get to know who you are again, my friend. And, uh, and start listening to your daughter about how to eat. All right, digestive enzyme dependency. Ooh, yeah, ooh. Well, like I said, you have to be careful there. 
uh, David.